I didn't really learn anything about using documentaries in the classroom while I was studying. The more we talked about it, the more it seemed important not just to leave it with the English teachers, but to spread it across the curriculum. Some people are more of a visual learner than they are, say, doing learning off a worksheet. Sugar is now found in 80% of the foods we eat. With lesson plans for years 5 to 10 and clear curriculum links, the resource offers a story-driven approach to teaching and learning. My mom said if we die here, if we die in the boat, it's the same. So we will die together or live together. I mean, there are just heaps of them out there, you know, living in refuges, on the streets, squats. So I'm, I look at Lizzie, not the camera. Okay. I'm rolling! My favourite thing over the last two days is definitely being able to work with experts in an area that I had no idea about. And then being able to apply that with a colleague and a team member has been really fantastic. The, the big um, picture is how classroom experiences can be made authentic. Well, we've interviewed one of our, our science teacher. This section of Mullet Creek comes directly off the school's playground. Students are exploring projects and just as a matter of course they're documenting them. Life around here will slowly start to fail. I've got some students that do have learning difficulties and they can't physically write. So I was thinking maybe getting them to create interviews or like mini news broadcasts on their phones and presenting their knowledge and information that way. The filming skills that these teachers have acquired will allow us to document our different approaches to pedagogy. Okay, so what do we do next? Next, next. Teachers are excited. They've enjoyed every moment. It just seemed a wonderful opportunity for us.